Hello everyone, my name is Rurikan and I'm here with TGN.TV to bring you another World of Warcraft video. So on this particular video I'm going to be covering the Meloriac fight. Now as you guys know, I don't do scripted guides. So all my guides, it's like according to what's happening on the moment on screen. And as such, they might not be the most complete guides in the internet, but if you want to go watch some scripted stuff... There's better places to watch it, let's put it like that. I don't do scripts. Um, anyways, uh, that's just something I wanted to get out of the way because this particular fight, the Meloriac fight, is a really chaotic fight and it's really hard to give the lowdown on all the tactics and more specifically with my guild because we don't necessarily read up on tactics or anything. We kind of make this stuff up as we go along. It's more fun for us that way. So anyways, this is the Meloriac fight. We are running three tanks. I am one of them and as you can see, basically I'm picking up a couple of aberrations and you're wondering, well, why is more than one tank picking up aberrations? Because it makes it easier on our healers. So as you can see, you have a tank there uh, right in front of me, which is a bear tank. That's Kago. Sweet ass bear. Mwah! Kago, love you. Love your sweet ass. Um, and um, I am the other tank, the other off tank, let's put it like that. I'm tanking aberrations. Basically, I'm pulling aberrations periodically from Kago and taking them out. Um, that's the tactic we chose to use. Uh, now, with the aberrations, basically, you want to get at least nine aberrations down before the fight enters the green stage which, in case you don't know, is the stage where you got to AoE all the adds down, whatever, because everything takes 100% more damage. Uh, yeah, it's a really messy fight. Let's just uh, leave it at that. So I'm going to try and take uh, one or two aberrations out of Kago to make sure that the healing is easier on him and isolate one aberration out of the raid so that everyone can just target it, kill it off, and then I'll just keep grabbing uh, as much aberrations as possible. So as you can see, we are now going for, I believe this would be the full nine of them, uh, by now. Not exactly sure as I, as I say, I'm doing the commentary as I'm watching the fight. Um, here comes the green phase. During this phase, everyone takes 100% more damage, so you want to make sure to AoE the crap out of everything. The main tank that's tanking Meloriac himself usually is the one handling the interrupts on the Arcane Storm, so I want to make sure to get that. Um, all the aberrations down, as you can see. Now we got to release nine more aberrations before the next green phase. Um, again, an Arcane Storm. If you are not running deadly boss mods, you should, because it helps out a lot during these kinds of chaotic fights. And I want to speak to you of the several phases that you get in during this boss. So, Arcane Storm again, this needs to be interrupted. Uh, remedy, what, a green phase again? No, the Remedy needs to be the spell, if I remember correctly. Red phase. During the red phase, your raid is supposed to stack up together, and even those that are hitting the boss on melee range, they need to stand in front of the boss, so that the damage gets split up evenly uh, through your raid, through that fire stuff that comes through. Uh, if you do get Consuming Flames, you want to make sure to move away from your raid. And there we go, Scorching Blast. Damage split up evenly among the raid, therefore nobody takes too much damage to survive. Too, too much damage. Ugh. More damage than they need to, and they can survive just fine. Uh, me and Kago handling the aberrations here. Arcane Storm once again. You need to interrupt that. Release aberrations, like I've mentioned, you need to get let at least three of those come through be between each green phase. Again, blue vial into the cauldron, uh, and um, every three vials comes the green one, I believe. Like, uh, one will be either red or blue. The next one will be either red or blue. Uh, depending, like if the first one was red, the next one will be blue. If the first one was blue, the next one will be red. And the third one is always a green phase. So in between these three uh, cauldron type deals, you have to release nine aberrations. Each time he casts release aberrations, it's three aberrations that come down. As you can see, Kago retaunting my targets. Not good, Kago. Not good, my friend. You need to not do that. Uh, so during the, f the fire phase, like I said, the red phase, you guys need to stack up because it's easier to heal and all that kinds of stuff, and you will take less damage. During the blue phase, it's exactly the opposite way. You need to move uh, away from each other. you have got to keep at least a range of six, if I believe uh, that I'm correct. And um, during that phase, a couple of people will get frozen. If you're not um, stacking up on top of each other, you should be just fine because you will only freeze one person. That person will get released and healed. Should be fine. Again, during the green stage, AoE phase, kill everything off. We also kill aberrations during the 
during the normal stages. Um, I don't know exactly why. You need to ask my raid leader. But I believe it's because he feels it's easier to heal the tanks that way. Anyways, again, I'm being an off-tank. And here in Phase 2, Prime Subjects pop up and you want to make sure you grab one. The other tank grabs the other one. And it just makes this really, really simple and easy to heal. So here I'm tanking the Prime Subject, no big deal. Kago is going to be moving my way, so I'm going to move my subject further away. And basically we spin around a little bit to make sure that the subjects don't change targets because every now and then they do change, they do tend to try and fixate different targets. But before that happens, you want to make sure to try and kill the boss. Now, if I've said anything that doesn't really make sense, I'm sorry, but this fight is really chaotic and I try to really only focus on the role that matters to me, which is in this case, off tank or melee DPS, whatever. So normally not every player needs to know the entirety of a fight. And in this particular fight, I'll have to admit, I don't know the entirety of the fight, nor do I care to because I'm not the raid leader. So. Anyways, just throwing that out there. Sorry if this guy is a little bit incomplete, but like I said, I do not do scripted stuff. I don't find that as amusing and as real as commenting in real time. Also, during Phase 2, boss makes a whole bunch more damage, and there's a Berserk timer, so you better kill that guy fast before he gets pissed off. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a like or dislike, and I will see you guys on the next one. And also, leave me some comments on feedback on what you want to see and all that kind of stuff, and blah, 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 blah. See you next time. Peace.